Around 80 exhibitors from across Britain had their products and ideas on display at the NHS Innovation Expo at the Excel Centre in East London. It was the brainchild of UK Health Minister Lord Arad Darcy, a prominent surgeon himself, and comes on the anniversary of his plan to provide high quality health care for all in Britain. We made a very bold statement that quality will be the organising principle of the NHS. Quality is what we aspire to achieve in the NHS. Innovation is the way to achieve that. So the next two days is about learning, sharing and celebrating many of the innovative successes that we've seen across the NHS. He says there are many good innovative ideas that the NHS could adopt which would definitely improve the standards and level of healthcare offered in the UK. Firstly, let's look what are the challenges facing us in healthcare. Most of us are living longer, lifestyle diseases, certainly long-term conditions, and you see numerous examples of innovations in technology, for example, assistive technology where patients are receiving care at home, uh, innovations in redesigning the services, uh, uh, more care being delivered in the community, like uh, diagnostics, like ultrasound, blood tests, uh, innovation in management. So there are numerous examples of different types of innovation. Innovation isn't just about drugs and technologies. Innovation is everything we do. One of the ideas is an inflatable operating theatre designed by Imperial College in London. It can be set up anywhere and costs a fraction of a permanent theatre and can be used by medical students where they can practice and develop their skills. It's a portable, low-cost, inflatable environment that takes three minutes to inflate and that you can set up anywhere, as you see in a big conference hall, for example, uh, where we can pr pr provide a, a simulation of a patient and then there are um, key bits that you would find in an operating theatre, an operating lamp, various bits of equipment, not the real thing, but lightweight, low-cost models which make it feel like the real thing. A solution to training surgeons is a new virtual tool designed and developed by Warwick University. Currently, surgery students have to use either dead bodies or learn their skills on the job. Using the virtual screen system, students can feel and learn what real surgery would be like and practice on a more regular basis. What we're trying to do here is to bring simulation, computer graphic simulation, into the hands of the surgeons. And the idea here is to have virtual body and allow the surgeons or a trainee surgeons, novice, to practice using the same toolkits that they use in a real surgery, but in a controlled virtual environment. Another way of helping people live more healthy lives is to encourage them to take part in physical activity. In the northeast of England, the NHS is doing this by taking rowing machines into schools and getting young people to take part and realise the importance of physical exercise. It's new for the NHS to, to, to do something like that and to have this partnership. Um, but we've got it in schools in the Gateshead area. We've got 40 indoor row machines there and uh, feedback is the kids love it. The two-day expo brought together some of the best innovative health ideas which could provide high-quality health care throughout Britain in the future.